In a winter season in the city of Missouri, John along with his friends make the decision to play in a lake that is completely frozen, despite the fact that in the distance a man told him to get out of the lake because it was dangerous, these they paid no attention to it. Then, at the least expected moment, the lake that at first glance seemed to be very solid fractures, and they have a terrible accident from which it was almost impossible to survive, so the three plunge into despair to save their lives. After many attempts, one of them got out of the frozen water, but what John did not expect is that just as he was about to get out, one of his friends accidentally hit him in the face, leaving him unconscious. John! John felt that life was leaving him in a breath, that life that he really did not want to live, since it was loaded with rejection and lack of acceptance, by some of his schoolmates and himself. For this reason, he was always on the defensive and did not obey his adoptive parents, who loved him very much despite not having the same blood. After desperation, the people who were around him called the fire department, police, and special forces, since John did not appear anywhere. In the midst of this desperate atmosphere, 15 minutes passed, and just before giving up the search, one of the firefighters who does not believe in the existence of God, hears a strange voice that makes him go back and continue searching. We got him! It is there that they found John without vital signs. And no matter how much they try to revive him, he shows no signs of life. However, they transfer him to the nearest clinical center in the hope that he will react to the medications. No pulse. 60 minutes have passed and her mother arrives, to receive the news that there is nothing more to do. However, her mother refuses to believe in that diagnosis, and with great faith in the midst of despair cries out to God for the life of his son. Due to the unbelievable faith of his mother, John returned to having vital signs, and it was just at that moment that the light at the end of the tunnel could be seen and the hope that John would be saved. Certainly, John's heart beat again, but for some strange reason, his body still doesn't respond, maybe his mother's faith will make this new diagnosis change. Unfortunately, the boy, only 14 years old, is in bed fighting between life and death, since the hypothermia caused so much damage to John's body that it is impossible for the doctors to save him. I don't believe John will survive the night. Otherwise you will suffer serious neurological consequences. The news that the boy had no hope of life devastated the mother, however she does not give up, and is filled with strength to overcome this circumstance, since she firmly believes in the power of faith and prayer to heal to his son. Despite this news, faith irradiated many people in the town, who joined in a circle of constant prayer, to achieve what seemed impossible in the eyes of science. The pastor of the church they attend appears on the scene, who is impressed by what happened, since he thinks that only God was the one who could save his life, and that there is a purpose behind all this. The family had this invaluable company that gave them strength and faith, the pastor stayed 18 hours straight with John to support his parents in prayer and in caring for the child. Also, he agrees to visit the hospital frequently, since it is a duty for him as a pastor. As time goes by, John shows some signs of conscience, since while the mother and the pastor talk to him, some tears come to his eyes, he also manages to squeeze his mother's hand. This event occurred simultaneously while the crowd was gathered singing and praying for John's recovery. This fact brought out many feelings of both hope and guilt, since John's mother reproached her husband that if it hadn't been for her, John would be dead at that moment. After a short and painful discussion, the husband steps aside upon seeing his wife's emotional state and lets her drain her emotions. I mean, it's time to wake up. Joyce, wake up. The next morning, John's mother is taken to the emergency room for a diabetic coma, since she is very dehydrated, agitated, and has not eaten in days because she is looking out for her son and she needs to be strong, so the doctor decides let her rest for five hours away from John's room. 
After talking with the pastor, she decides to go to the roof of the hospital to pray and give thanks to God with all the faith of the moment. John's mother asks God for forgiveness and surrenders to her total and divine will. Her faith is so great that when she opened her eyes she realized that it was snowing. She takes what happened as a sign and an answer to her long-awaited prayers. After what happened, the parents meet with the doctor in charge of John, who tells them that the medicines administered are poisoning his body, for this reason, his mother asks that he suspend the treatment that he has been administering, leaving Yihan in total dependence on God. The pastor along with John's mother and father join in a prayer circle in the boys' room, while outside people continue to pray for a miracle. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, John. The next day all the medical staff are ready to start weaning John off his treatment and bringing him out of a coma, so his mother with her high temper pauses and quite frankly decides to be ready for anything since she surrendered to the perfect will of God. At that point, they begin the breathing treatment, injecting a substance that will help open your airways, and then proceed to remove the breathing tube. This procedure will not be easy, since his lungs partially collapsed, and although John reacts in an unexpected way, so you can, what is the doctor soon takes control and begins to breathe with his own lungs, now all that remains is to wait. His mother approaches him and speaks to him to encourage him, at that moment John, somewhat confused, relives the moment of the accident that put his life at risk, and this is how John gradually revives and regains consciousness. You need to come back to us now, John. Simultaneously, he begins to hear the voice of his mother and ends up opening his eyes. <gasps> that moment was magical for everyone present, since what was really happening was a supernatural miracle. John recognized his mother, and in a few minutes everyone knew of his recovery. Jumping for joy, they thanked God for his mercy. The doctor proceeds to examine him while he waits for the results of the laboratory tests. When he sees them, he is amazed at his quick recovery. He cannot believe that the infection has disappeared in such a short time, being completely cured. Talking alone with his mother, he tells her that he can't believe how a few hours ago, her lungs were full of blood, her white blood cells were wasting faster than in any patient he's seen before, her brain was also suffering devastation. Neurological and at the same time each of his main organs were failing, however all that has disappeared. Being a doctor he should be a skeptic, but in reality there is no explanation of what happened, and without hesitation he accepts that it is a miracle from God, she very moved hugs him thanking him. Days later, John is released from the hospital and returns to school, the classmates receive him with great affection, others not so much. This echoes in John's mind and he heads back to the lake where that fateful accident occurred. When he sees who is on the shore of the lake, he realizes that he is a fireman, the same one who heard that voice that he told him to come back for. John thanks him for saving him and he himself tells him that he admits that he did not believe in God, and he had to go through all these events to know that God is really real. Maybe that's true for the both of us. John, referring to what happened to him, decides to give purpose to his life, recognizing that there are many people who love him, and that the fact that he is adopted does not mean that he is not important in this life. His is how this beautiful film of faith ends, which is based on a true story where it leaves us a lesson, based on the love that a mother and a father can give for their child and how far can that feeling be as genuine and pure as the God's love. Faith is a tool that gives us certainty of what we do not see, that is why despite the fact that the forecast looks dark, we must never lose faith. This is the summary of a Christian movie based on real events called Breakthrough, click here and don't miss the following story.